After winning back-to-back -back Super Bowls in 1997 and 98, 1999 was a challenge of survival for the Broncos. They know that you're at the top of the profession, they're trying to knock you off, so they're prepared. You can sneak up on somebody one time, but the second time it's pretty tough. The third time, you know, it's just like your second time. People know that you're the best and you're going to get your best shot. A lot of time people get complacent. You know, they feel good about themselves. Everybody's patting you on the back and doing interviews like this. What a great job you've done and what a great coach you are. And you know in reality that if you lose your first three games, everybody knows that you're not worth a damn. That's just the way the society works. We had some opportunities. We didn't get it done. We've had those over the first three games. And you can talk about them, but you're still 0-3. Written off by most, Shanahan has already faced far greater challenges in his life. It was just an option in spring ball. Got hit in the side, knocked the wind out of me. I, I didn't think it was anything really bad. I went back to my apartment. I wasn't feeling very good, and when one of my roommates came in, I'd vomited uh, three different times, and I filled three different sinks. So I knew there was something uh, drastically wrong. Did not know, you know, the extent of the injury, but I did go to the hospital. They called the ambulance, and uh, they did exploratory surgery, not knowing what it was, and I had split the kidney in half. But I did receive last rites. My heart stopped beating for over 30 seconds, so my dad made the drive uh, down to Easter, and when he was coming in the hospital, and my, the priest was going out, he says, hey, it doesn't look good, so expect the worst. And three weeks after that, you were rafting on the river? <laughs> I was in uh, critical condition for about five days, but I recovered very quickly. And uh, Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't doing the work, though. I was the guy in the middle of the canoe, just kind of sitting back <laughs> and relaxing, so I had an excuse. Great day to be alive. Go kick their ass. I think the fact that his, his athletic career was cut short, I think the fact that he's little, I mean, and, and also the fact that he has this furnace burning inside his gut at all times, at all hours, makes him great. You a little scared? Yeah, you look a little scared. I'm scared of what we're going to do to him other than This proven winner has never shied away from a challenge or a risk. We were in Jamaica one year. He wanted to go dive off this cliff because someone told him about it. In my opinion, he just does stupid things sometimes. Um, he doesn't really think it out, he just does it. And, and then afterwards he goes, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Like when he took our kids bungee jumping in Mexico. My daughter, 12 years old, wanted to go bungee jumping. <laughs> and my son said, yeah, I want to go too. So here I am, sitting down, sitting at the pool. I'm saying, I'm gonna let my kids do it by themselves, or am I gonna go with them? So if something ever does happen, I can say at least I did it first. Maybe he shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I waited at the hotel. I couldn't even go look. I don't sound real sharp, do I? <laughs> <laughs> now, why, why would you do all those things? What? Oh, I don't know. I think that's kind of my personality. I, I enjoy risks. Risks were high when Shanahan took his first head coaching job with the Raiders in 1988. However, disappointment proved to be a stepping stone to greatness. The best thing that happened to him was one, being fired by the Raiders, where he tried to do something and was rebuffed, and then went to San Francisco and learned everything. He learned to cap. He learned organizational structure. He learned what you have to do in trying to build a team, keep a team, and look ahead. All those different things he picked up from the 49ers, and so he was able to apply it. As the 49ers offensive coordinator in 1994, Shanahan's intense competitive nature came into focus against the Raiders in a pre-game passing drill that featured quarterback Elvis Gerbach. We're on a 10-yard line and we're going out of the end zone and Al is about the 25 or 30-yard line out in the numbers just with his hands folded and you know watching our team. And a player saying, hey coach, we can't, we can't run anything over there. Tell them to get out of the way. I go, guys, stay. Don't lose your poise, you kind of just, you just work on what we're doing. And then I didn't want to do this as Steve Young, because I know Steve Young would look at me like it was half crazy, but I, I said, Elvis, I said, hey, I said, throw a go route. And if you happen to get the ball close to that guy in the white outfit over there, I said, you won't bother me. And Elvis, Elvis goes back and he throws the ball, and he throws it right at Al. Al's not moving. Now we've got a wide receiver and a DB running right at him, but Al must be looking at the interior play at the line. I'm saying, oh my God, I just want to scare him. I don't want to kill him. And at the last second, he just gets out of the way and he runs out of the way, he's not hurt. And as he turns around, because he really takes off and really gets out of the way, and uh, he turns around and that hair 
is all in front of him because it's windy and he's really got to give some effort to get out of the way and, and he flips me off, <laughs> flips me off back to the huddle because he probably knew where it came from. But from that time on, I've never seen him on that side of the 50. <laughs> he's totally ruthless and honest and brutal, but brilliant. I don't think ruthless is the word. I think being honest is, is more the word. I think sometimes people have a hard time looking somebody in the eye and saying, hey, this is what I think. You may not like it, but I think this is the best decision for our football team. And one of the things that I, I first said with Shannon Sharp is, and Shannon, I said, if we're going to have the success that we want to have, you're not going to catch 95 balls a year. I said, you're going to catch 55 to 60. We're going to spread that ball around, and you got to do a much better job blocking. If not, i got to get rid of you. And Shannon stepped up and did everything I asked him to do. He doesn't want to be their friend. He wants to be their leader. You ask him a question? He's not going to tell you what you want to hear. He's going to tell you exactly how it feels. And uh, I think that's what I respect so much about him. We didn't play as we'd like to. And, I, you know, that's, that's me. Uh, I take uh, full responsibility for that. Losing league MVP Terrell Davis and Hall of Fame quarterback John Elway in the same season presented this survivor with still another challenge. I think football has the highest highs and the lowest lows. One of the reasons I've been able to keep level through the good times and the bad times, knowing that, uh, hey, tough times don't last, tough people do, and you just got to keep on persevering and working, and if you do that, good things usually happen.